Peace family, it's your brother Ben X. Now on my IG and Facebook timeline, I've been seeing everybody talk about this brother named Juice World. He was a rapper who had a seizure at the airport and uh, eventually died. As I was checking out uh, DJ Academic's Instagram page, there was someone who made a comment on this rapper who died, uh, made a comment on their Instagram about four days ago, and they told him that something told them to let him know that he should stop popping the Percocets or the pills, whatever the pills he was taking, because something was about to happen. Now, it was kind of interesting that this happened now because I've been watching lately for the past couple of days this YouTube channel called Noisy. And on this YouTube channel, they feature a guy who's a therapist and uh, he's basically giving therapy to a lot of these rappers. And what I'm starting to realize, a lot of these rappers who are hard, like who make gangster music, you know, the Waka Flockers, the... Uh, 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 the Chief Keefs and many others. I even seen one of the, uh, you know, the brother Grizzly, man, T Grizzly on there. These are good people, man. I'm talking about like jelly beans, hard on the outside, soft on the inside. And when I say that, I'm not being disrespectful saying they weak or some punks. What I mean is they human beings. And although that they're rappers, I feel like a lot of us think because somebody is a rapper or a celebrity or well-known, that they don't have feelings anymore, that, that, that they don't go through things anymore. Just because you got a lot of money, that don't mean you ain't got no problems. In fact, when you got a lot of money and you don't have the spiritual part together and the mental part together, it could cause you a lot more problems. But one thing I'm noticing is a lot of them are going through depression. A lot of them are mentioning depression and mental health. And to the average man, we would say, what do they have mental health for? What are they going through depression for? They can buy any kind of house they want. They can get any kind of car they want. They can do anything. They got countless money. They can do whatever they think in their mind. Well, that's what we think. They can afford the material things of this world, but the spiritual peace and the mental peace that we're looking for can't be bought with the mighty dollar. For example, an episode I was watching uh, yesterday was about Chief Keef. Chief Keef spoke about at a young age, he didn't have his father in his life. Like he was in his life, but really wasn't in his life. So his grandma raised him and he knew, you know, his mother, his mother was good, his grandmother was good. So, you know, he made up in his mind that he didn't need his father. So he looked up to his bigger cousin, his big cousin, not realizing he was still searching for that father figure that he missed. He was looking for him in his cousin his cousin ended up getting killed. So what the therapist was able to do was show Chief Keith how unconsciously the attention that he didn't get from his father, he is now attracting that in the, in the things that he's doing in his life. For the police attention, the stuff that he getting locked up for, all of the stuff he's doing that, you know, that's against the law, he's unconsciously or subconsciously seeking the attention that he lacked from a father figure or an authority figure in his life. This stuff is deep, man. And lastly, I admit, I didn't know this brother. You know, I'm not trying to jump on some type of bandwagon, but I know that when I look at the word brother, that's the other me. So whether if I know him personally, whether if I listen to his music, what that brother dealt with, so many of my brothers and sisters is dealing with that right now. So I'm saying that to say this. Everybody's on this rest in peace. RIP, he's gone too young. Oh my God, he was in his 20s. But best believe there's no such thing as a mystery God. We're dealing with cause and effect here. When we're taking these drugs, it's going to lead to an untimely physical death, starting with mental and spiritual that leads to an untimely physical death. So if we encourage this in the music, if we encourage this in the TV shows, if we encourage this in the movies, this is the effect that many of our youth is gonna have. So when you got rappers talking about pop a Percocet, but they not even popping Percocets because they know it's gonna mess up their career, it's something wrong with that. Especially if we crying and we talking about rest in peace, I can't believe this, when you didn't say anything about the popping of the pills. And I understand, I'm nobody's judge. I understand that people popping pills, they smoking, they getting drunk because they dealing with depression. They trying to escape life no matter how rich they are. But I'm here to tell you, man, the way that we find ease is by facing the difficulty. Not putting it in the back of your mind, telling yourself that it's okay. Telling yourself that you got over it. No, we have to sit down, talk about it, talk about it, look at it, think about it, think about it until we overcome it. That's how we're gonna find our true peace. And I have to be honest, 
and submission to the will of God. When we submit ourselves to the will of God, I'm talking about the laws of God that's written in your nature that you already know right from wrong, following and doing good. Once we submit to that, we will eventually find the peace that we're looking for. We're not going to find it on Instagram. It feels good. That's the dopamine that's kicking in, that pleasure part of our minds that whenever somebody hit a like or whenever somebody get a comment or you going out there doing shows or you speaking and you see thousands of people, it feels good temporarily. But it's something else that we need. It's something else that we're searching for. And I'm telling you, man, that's the God within. But if you know somebody going through it, man, and you know they're taking drugs, and you know they're going through it, and they don't know what to do, call them, man. Give them some help. Send them a book. Send them a video. Show them there's another way to handle what they're going through besides just, take, just taking drugs. And again, I don't know everything. So if anybody has ever went through depression before, if you know somebody who's went through depression before, comment below some tips that we can use to overcome the depression that somebody may be going through. Peace.